Hey guys, I'm CJ and I am back for another video and I have the semi-epic haul that I promised in the Me Hollow Love Plus Collection video. So I have been really good about not spending money. I was on this like no buy slash I ain't got no money spree since like September. And then finally about a week ago I was sitting on the computer, I would taken Derek to work, it was like 5 o'clock in the morning, I was semi-delirious and in that weekend state I was looking online I was like, oh, these products look nice purchase, check out, and then by the time I woke up after the second cup of coffee, I was like, oh, I guess I bought a lot of shit. I went hog wild, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. I've been working my ass off, I've been saving money, and sometimes it happens. So you saw what I got with the Mahalo collection, I did a great dent with that, and now I placed a few orders with premierlook.com for some medical grade skincare, that's Brianna Stinko's site. I placed an order with Integrity Botanicals, and I stopped into Pharmaca, which is like an or organic, natural supplement and beauty version of Whole Foods. It's amazing. I could spend $13 million in those and take nothing but pills just going to those stores. Trust me, I love it. It's amazing. So anyways, I thought I would show everything that I got you, that I got, and yeah. Let's get into this. Before I dig into this craziness, don't forget to like this video if you like hauls, dislike this video if you want to, that's totally cool, subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it, and find me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I am working on my C's Beauty Blog site, but right now I just have it uh, under my personal Facebook. So that's totally cool too, it's all the same, I share everything on there. So let's get into this. Here is my box of wildness. First things come from Pharmaca. The first thing that I picked up was the Derma E Hydrating Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid. So this was really interesting to me. It has no surfactants in it. I was like, this has the potential to be a really great morning time cleanser. I used this uh, this morning actually, and it's very hydrating. It doesn't strip the skin whatsoever, and it actually has chamomile, lemongrass, papaya, vitamin A and E, and hyaluronic acid. So this is very hydrating, has a very slight foam. It's not even like a lather. It's like little bubbles appear on your face. So this is a great product. I think it was 12 or $13 for that price, six ounces, good deal. Great for normal to dry skin types or oily in the morning. Oily skin people need hydration too. Don't forget that. The next thing I picked up was from Antelou Naturals, and this is the coconut water firming toner. So you all know, and I've shown it a thousand times, I really love the Thousand Roses Toner by Andalou. It's great. I love the mask as well. It smells great. Great for if your skin is sensitive or if you just want to get it a little break. So this is a aloe and coconut water based toner. I use these just as face sprays. This has prickly pear ex cactus extract, which is supposed to be great for retaining hydration. Obviously cactus in the desert, when it rains, they hold the water. The idea is that the extract or the botanical Part of this helps to hold the water. This has an eight berry superfood complex and it has a aloe vera coconut water base. So this is supposed to be great for hydrating the skin. It has vitamin C to brighten the skin. It has skin friendly enzymes for a light exfoliation. And it's just supposed to be a great all around firming hydrating toner. Coconut water of course has a whole host of electrolytes and is great for hydrating your body and hydrating your skin. That was $12 as well and you get six ounces, so it's a great deal. Andalou is a very good line. The next thing that I picked up at Pharmaca is actually a medical grade skincare line that I'd only seen on premierlook.com, but this is completely natural and botanically based, and this is Sanitas. So this is the Lemon Cream Scrub. So this isn't gonna be like your C9 scrub that just rips and tears at your face. This uses silica crystals in a base of oils, and vitamins to gently exfoliate your face. This also has lactic acid in it, so you get a little bit of that chemical exfoliation along with the slight physical exfoliation. Sometimes you just want a scrub. I'm the number one fan of acids, trust me, but sometimes you just want a, a scrub product. Sometimes a scrub is just something you need. This is, I think, supposed to be a great option. It looks like it will be quite moisturizing. It has uh, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, like I said, lactic, and then a bunch of oils, uh, squalene, and yeah. So it looks like it's gonna be a really great nourishing and gently exfoliating product. The next thing that I picked up from Pharmaca is also from Cineadis, and this is the Vita Rich Mask. 
This is supposed to be great for replenishing dry dull skin and adding deep hydration. So this has a whole host of vitamins. One of the top ingredients is sodium PCA and hyaluronic acid, which are both great for hydrating the skin. Sodium PCA is the salt version of hyaluronic acid. This also has squalene, antioxidants, and some retinol in here, so this should firm, brighten, and hydrate your skin. All of the Cineos products that I've seen so far come in a pump, which is really great, especially if people on YouTube are giving you flack about sticking your finger in products. You know who you are, but I blocked you and reported you, so maybe you don't. I'm just kidding. I don't care. I stick my finger in products, and it's what I do, so it's totally cool. The next thing I got was just because I needed a lip balm at the moment, and this is the Dr. Hauschka Lip Care Stick. This has oils and waxes in it. It's oils and wax, I think. Or maybe not even wax. That's just based out of pure need. The next products come from Integrity Botanical, and it's actually one product. I was looking at this one, and I was looking on their site, it's a great natural beauty site, and I was like, found this thing, it was called Omni Silver Rich Face Mist. I was looking at the ingredients and I'm like, rose flower water, silver water, copper tripeptide, peptides, peptides, copper tripeptides, silver water, I like silver. I'm a big fan of silver. So I looked into this, I'm like, oh, okay, they're not playing around with this product. This is a real, real good idea, real beautiful product. I will do an independent review of this product if you guys want. If it works like I think it will, this could be a game changer. It is $58 for 3.4 ounces, so it is pricey, but it's got really good ingredients, so I, I get it. It comes in this beautiful blue Myron glass spray bottle. I haven't even sprayed it yet. This is gonna be used very sparingly. This is not gonna be a product I'm just spraying all over my face when I need some hydration. This is gonna be used, it says it can be used as a toner or a face mist as you need, but uh, we'll see. It says it's supposed to be radiance boosting as well. So we'll see, I'm gonna play with this one, but if it's good, or if it's bad, I'll do an independent review because it's a really interesting product. Silver infused water and all of this jazz. Sounds good to me. Of course they sent me some beautiful little samples. The first sample that I got was from Kypris, and it's their Cleansing Concentrate. I've never actually used a single Kypris product in my life. They've never even been on my radar, so I thought I'd try the cleanser. cleanser to, cleansers and masks are a really good way to test a brand out. If you like the cleanser or you like the mask, you can look further into it, but if it doesn't work with you, then maybe just step away. The next one that I got has been talked about so much all over the blogosphere and I was super interested. This is the Demanuel Restorative Cleansing Balm. Really good little sample of that. And then a sample of the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Hydration Accelerator. Hydrating Accelerator. Everyone has gone bonkers for that so I thought I'd try her out. The final order comes from PremierLook.com, medical grade skincare. As I said in the last video, I'm very interested in medical grade skincare and green beauty right now, so I thought I'd pick these guys up. The first one is something I've been drooling over, the second one is something that I wanted just out of pure necessity, and the third one is just something I saw and thought, okay. So the first one is the Regenica Rejuvenating Dual Serum. So the whole dual serum growth factor thing is newer to me, but it seems so logical and it makes so much sense. So I thought I would try it. I might not need this. You might say this is not for my skin, whatever. I wanted to try it though. This is one ounces for $250. So let me know if you want to see either a luxury lowdown on this product or just an independent review. I could do either or. It's not a luxury brand per se, but the price is quite luxurious. So this has one of the highest amounts of growth factors in any product on the market. It comes in this pump, it has two chambers, so it has two chambers on each side, or a chamber on each side, and two little spouts that you mix together before applying to your face. This has 95% human-derived growth factors on one side, and the other side has a little bit of everything that's pressed in, if you're wondering. This has the potential to be your sort of all-in-one serum if you wanted it to be. I will not use it as so, I'm going to use it as an anti-aging serum at night but you could use it as your all-in-one. This has vitamin C, it has botanicals, it has some oils, it has hyaluronic, it has antioxidants, it has copper tripeptides, peptides, amino acids, a little bit of everything. So this is supposed to help with skin's elasticity and collagen production. 
It also is supposed to help with the appearance of hyperpigmentation, of course, fine lines and wrinkles, and says over time it's going to help the increase the skin's density and to help the skin actually resist photo aging. So over time, this is supposed to not only just make your skin firmer, reduce the lines and wrinkles, more beautiful, but it's also actually supposed to help your skin to fight off the UVA, UVB free radical damage that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm very excited in that. Let me know if you want to see more about it. The next product was one that I was ready for. So I've been using retinols for four to five years now, and I wanted to get a prescription strength retinol at this point. So I picked up the Obagi Tretinoin Cream. I messed up on this one. I thought I got the 0.05% concentration. Turns out I got the 0.1%. Not their fault. It's my fault. I clicked the wrong one, which is fine. I actually used this last night, and I had a little bit of flaking, but with a light exfoliant this morning, I was totally good, and my skin looked good. So this is good. This was $100 for... 0.7 ounces, but you use a very small amount, like a pea size, and I'm going to use it once a week since it's the stronger one. The last one is just one I was straight up curious about, and this is the Clinician, Clinician's Complex Gel Peptide Mask, or Peptide Gel Mask. So this has Matrix Gold 3000, Argelane, Argelane, however you say it, Hyaluronic Acid, uh, Magnesium Ascorbyl, Phosphate, which is Vitamin C, and Beerberry Extract. So this is going to be hydrating firming, plumping for fine lines and wrinkles, and it has a little bit of an antioxidant support in there as well. This is a, as the description says, a very thick kind of like gel thing. It has no smell. It just smells like skincare. Just skincare. Kind of looks like Vaseline. So I'm very excited to try that one out. And then two little samples from Premier Look. The first one being the Is Clinical Hydrocool Serum in the cutest little dropper in the world. And then the last one is the Avene Tri Acnale Day Mattifying Lotion for Oily Blemish, blemish Prone Skin. Avene is a line that I've been looking into for Derek because I think his skin is quite sensitive. I've never tried it, but I think it would be great for my retinol prescription retinol nights. So that is it. Let me know if there's any products that you want to see me talk more about. I'm definitely thinking that toner and the dual serum, but if there's anything else you want to know more about, I will leave all the goods in the description box down below, but I can do independent videos on anything that I mentioned today and on any of the Mahalo products in the future. And that's it for this video, guys. Let me know if there's anything you want to see more of. Like I said, comment in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.